looking for a gal. I'm pretty happy living out here on Keyhall Key, but there's some one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please come listen to my request. I'm in the storage room deep in the cave on Keel Hall Key. Luigi too. Super Luigi Volume 2 Allies and Adventure It's a little warm, Luigi Mother. The sweat dripping from his brow as he followed the compass up Rumple Bump Volcano side. Must find the secret grotto. While Luigi had guts to spare, he did need a guide, and he found one in Bluey, a blooper he met in the town. Brave Bluey joined Luigi and instantly proved to be invaluable. With his aid, Luigi bested a savage statue that protected the treasure. That treasure was none other than the piece of a marvelous carpus, a piece that pointed west to Plump Belly Village. The second Luigi saw Plump Belly Village, he knew something was amiss, and all was well. And Luigi soon learned the reason why from the mayor. The town was at the mercy of a sinister serpent who demanded sacrificial losses. Lasses, burning with indignation, Luigi formed a team of liberators. A fierce babam warrior named Jerry joined his crew and chose, not surprisingly, to stick with Luigi for the duration of his quest for Eclair. Fortified by his allies, Luigi strode on into the lair of the feast, a foul two-headed snake. No time to think, Luigi sprang forth, twin head snapped at his heels, fangs dripping venom. Then, as one mouth gaped open, wide to swallow Luigi, the other crept behind. Our hero sensed the treachery and fa fainted before leaping. The fainted before leaping. The heads collided, and the beast ate itself. The prize, a compass piece. The villagers begged their savior to stay with them, but a grim-faced Luigi pressed bravely onward, to be continued. Manager's pick. Super popular, now on sale. And fell asleep reading it. Yeah, I think the lottery game is broken from unplugging the GameCube. Anyway. Oh, he does not look good. Hey, if it ain't that guy's from before, you need to meet with the boss once again, eh? Well, normally we could, you know, help you out, but the boss is currently snoozing. That does not look like he's snoozing. Snor Okay, now it does. Francesca! Aw, oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What a, what's a syndicate to do? That scruffy game. The punk Steve's is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for you? What? Tickets for the richest, the ritziest train around for the Excess Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling wing ding? Ooh, ain't nothing we could do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets, that's rich. You got to talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew where those newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see him. Hang on, those two fondly folk, Frankie and Francesca, from Key Hall Key? Who's on the what? Now, what did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Piata is at? Really? No lie? I 
swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Oh, yeah. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Francesca, Miss Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get you your train tickets. We got a deal or what? Deal. See, now that's better. I knew once you understand our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. I'm not sure how I would. Another two birds. One stone deal. Doing the trouble. Helping Don Piata. Both require going to the same place. Convenience. If it's available, go for it. On the key all key, amigo? Yes, sir. Excellent. Muy bueno. To see we go, amigo. Set sails. Destination key hall key. Sir? been dear pal we do something for you what the boss is sick oh poor daddy oh no and at a time like this you see I I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here I can't possibly leave until I find that ring otherwise something may eat it it must be somewhere between here and that skull rock listen for a sec my fuzzy little coconut shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss how could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to! Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me 100 times. 100 times?! If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Ah, uh, fine, you crazy day. I love you. 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 Now the counting. I love you. 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 I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, 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 I 
I love you. 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 Huff. He. Oof. There. I said it. Oh, my thoughts exactly. Oh, Frankie baby. You're such a silly Billy. <laughs> now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? I say, old boy, do you think these two will be quite alright by their lonesomes? I shouldn't think so, me. We should help them. Alright, I'll go look this way. By the way, I actually did say it a hundred times. I didn't pre-record and just copy-pasted it. Pricey ring, the symbol of Frankie Francesca's love. Francesca's. I'm talking too fast. Alright, now we're going in here to do the one trouble. That's where that was. It wasn't this room at all. Hey, thanks for taking all my trouble. All the way out here too. I know it's far. I came out here to enjoy island life, but now that I he I'm here, I just feel lonely. There is no one to date. I mean, no one. I'm chatting up sea turtles here. So all I need to do is introduce me to a nice girl. That's it. A girl, okay? I guess my type would be petite, younger than me, and pretty, not drop-dead hot. Yeah, cute little Goomba gal will be just perfect. Please help me, please. How's this? Hey, how's it going? Did you happen to find a cute girl for... Whoa, yeah, wow, well, yeah, she's cute, really cute, and a ponytail, man. Perfect, slam dunk, man, yeah, slam dunk. This may be a bit soon, but I have to confess my love to this girl. Er, uh, hi, do you believe in love at first sight, Angel? Because, you know, I do, and what are you trying to say? Just spit it out. I love you. 101! I think I have loved you since before I was born. How's that possible? Please, go out with me. Ooh. Um, oh, jeepers. This is awkward. I, um, I'm going out with Mario. Honest, I'm sorry. You're really cute, though. Uh, what? You have a boyfriend? Man. I have, I've had enough of this. Yikes, I feel like I did something totally brutal. Well, Mario, why don't you take this as a reward for dealing with that guy? Food that slowly refills HP. You can't eat it alone. Yeah, we just, uh, up and took it from that guy. Now let's get moving. 
I don't know, man. I feel like I made things worse. Pixels. I'm not sure which one I don't understand more. Pixels or hitboxes. Ah, that's it! That's my ring! You found it! Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy! We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go! Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please! Okay, Mario, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on till we get there. Return to Rogueport, amigo? Yes. Bueno, we are off. Cast off, mi amigos, to Rogueport. I like the music. The beat is nice. Night. Day. Pirates. We have to see Dad. We have to go see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. Jeez. It's like every one of those, it's like a solid brick wall or something. See Don Pieta once again. Daddy, 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 wake up! Open your eyes! Boss! Where's the music? Okay, no music. Editing me, let's uh, edit the soundtrack in, okay? Francisca? Daddy! Boss! Oh, there it is. Alright, never mind. Oh, my little Francesca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie? Of course we did, Daddy. 
As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Francisca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want you two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being too so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Whoa, boss, it can't be. I didn't get to read it all in time. No, it's time. I mean it. And I want... No, wait. No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, successor Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the, the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? But, but boss, you still got it in ya. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean me, boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francisca and the rest of the syndicate the way I did. Boss! You, Mario. Looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful. I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the XS Express if we brought your daughter back. Whoa, is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten. Help yourself. A ticket to the Fritzy train to Poshley Heights. Whoa, yow. You come back any time you like. How about that? Well, now that I've retired, I'm going to get out of here. Daddy? Boss? You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Frankie, we've got lots of work to do, and don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet names nonsense, you, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? F -f 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 Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. Hee hee hee. Under Boss. Er, er, I mean Boss. You got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, Boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the Syndicate? It's the life, kid. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Well, things took... Looks like things went okay. Anyway... Jolly good show. We'll reach Poshley Heights in time for tea, eh? Finding that six crystal stars should be more taxing than a vacation, eh? What? <laughs> I heard that, my uglies! So, the six crystal stars in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Oh, you're Beldum. Normally this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise. So you live. For now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. <laughs> Mario, that bodes ill. I suggest we reach Poshley Heights before that crone. Look alive, man. We are off to Rogueport Station. <laughs> 